Good evening, I'm Lori with White Rabbit News. It is August 19th. Okay, so we have a few things coming out tonight. One of those being um, Matt Couch. He is on Twitter. He is an investigative journalist and host to the America First Media Group. Uh, he's a Christian. He's married. He's a father of three. Claims to be a uh, NRA member, a Razorback. Um, so what we have with Matt Couch couch is that he has a video that he's just come out with and he is claiming a couple of things here regarding Seth Rich uh, and they have been holding this information he and his partner for the last week and reportedly they have been threatened. Matt Couch and his family have been threatened. Uh, we had somebody uh, manipulate a photo of Jenny Moore, Jen Moore, who was the task force individual that was just found dead uh, in a Maryland hotel room. Um, because she was going to divulge a report of alleged rape uh, from a male victim who was allegedly raped by Bill Clinton. So we see that this photo has been manipulated. This is uh, actually Matt Couch's wife that has been put on this photo, and they're saying that this is a direct threat. They're threatening Matt Couch's wife. Um, and uh, so Matt Couch came out with the story just, just a few minutes ago uh, that I found on Twitter regarding Seth Rich. Now, the story is that reportedly there were two individuals at the hospital when Seth Rich arrived. So if anybody is familiar with Seth Rich, Seth Rich was murdered. Um, he was working for the DNC. Um, and if you don't know that whole story, um, I suggest you get caught up to speed with that because that is a murder investigation that I don't believe has ever been um, solved. They claim that maybe some MS3, uh, MS-13 gang members had killed him. So what we're seeing is that the two individuals were reportedly at the hospital were the mayor of Washington and DNC's Donna Brazil. So I'm going to leave you with this video here. Take a look. Take a listen. There's a ton of stuff coming out right now. I'm Lori with White Rabbit News. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening and have a great evening. There it is. Much now we're back. Better. Now we're back. There we go. Now we're back on YouTube. There we go. Sorry about that, everybody on Periscope. Thanks for staying with us. So we talked to you all about a week ago, Bill, mm -hmm. a week ago about some information that was going on in our investigations. And so uh, we gave said parties, we gave said parties one week to do the right thing and to come forward. Um, I thought that would help her out a little bit. So this is the main thing here, folks. This is the main thing. Um, we gave them the opportunity, Bill, to do the right thing. Absolutely. We gave said parties the right, the opportunity, the, right, the time to do the right thing. Our intel is rock solid. We can back up our statements with everything in our beams. Uh, there is no, our sources are rock solid. Uh, I'm going to ask for shares as well. If you haven't shared this before I get going, we want as big of an audience as we can possibly get for this broadcast. Uh, it, is, it is very crucial to our investigations. We can't do uh, what we do without all of you. We looked at security uh, situations. We had a lot of people messaging us, reaching out to us, people that are very, very well connected in the Intel community, telling us that we needed to get this information out. Sooner, a little sooner. sooner. A little yes. sooner because of threats and things like that have been made towards our families. As many of you know, um, about three days ago, there was a meme that was put out of Jenny Moore, and they have put my wife on this meme, and we were told by multiple people within the Intel community this was no accident. <clears throat> It, it couldn't be an accident. It was not an accident. There's no way. The picture was specifically cropped out. And they did so 
on purpose to threaten not only my family, my wife, but as well as other members of our team. Uh, they shut down our Patreon account at patreon.com on Thursday, one of our three funding platforms. All of this happened uh, literally when we basically said a week ago, um, we don't know who did it, Deanna. That's the thing. We don't know. We've traced uh, it back probably as far as we can for now. We're still working on it. Right. And so we, we literally are still working on it. We're tracing it. Our team's working on it. Other investigators are helping us work on it as well. But with everything that's happened since we broke this with myself and Bill and Frank Whalen and the Graham Cracker, uh, a week ago on Sunday, we broke a lot of new intel, and they've been attacking our team constantly ever since. They shut down our Patreon account. They literally put a meme out that has went viral, been seen millions and millions of times, of Jenny Moore, the journalist who was killed in Washington, D.C., uh, that she was found dead in a D.C. hotel room on Monday. She was working with Thomas Paine, George Webb, and other investigative journalists. And so... This is where we're at. Uh, we put out intel because we were late. we're tired of the threats. We're tired of everything sure. that's, that's happening. <clears throat> sure. So without further ado, this is breaking information and intel in the Seth Rich investigation. This is going to be a very quick scope. We've been going a little over four minutes. I don't really want to go any longer than 10 uh, for security purposes. We received highly uh, credible intelligence from one of our sources about two weeks ago. Uh, and the intel, as we have checked out from Bill and, and Frank and members on our team, is is uh, as accurate as it gets we believe yeah we 100 percent believe and so <clears throat> this intel that we're going to release is there were two not one but two high profile uh members of the democratic party that were at the hospital at the exact same time or within minutes of seth rich's arrival and so the big kicker here is is that number one why were they there you know, why were they there? Who notified them? Those are questions that we wanted to answer. We gave them an opportunity to do so. And think about what time in the morning it was. Right. It was, it was 4.33 in the morning when he arrived via ambulance. And so let's just get out with it, I guess. Right, Bill? Have at it, man. The two people that were at the hospital at the same time or within minutes of Seth Rich's arrival were two D.C. politicians. One was Donna Brazil the current head of the Democratic National Committee, the head of the DNC at the time. Donna Brazil was one of the two politicians that were, was at the hospital at exactly the same time that Seth Rich arrived. The other one is also very interesting because she's a current elected official, a politician who got into it on Twitter this week with President Trump. The other politician who was at the hospital was none other than Muriel Bowser, the mayor of Washington, D.C. Muriel Bowser, the mayor of Washington, D.C., was also at the hospital with Donna Brazil at the same time uh, that Seth Rich was brought in in an ambulance. This is breaking news. We can back this up. We have verifiable evidence. And so we gave these people an opportunity to come forward. So you have to ask yourself a question. Why was Donna Brazil the mayor of Washington, D.C., a major metropolitan area, and why was Donna Brazil the head of the DNC at the hospital at the exact same time that Seth Rich arrived? And so this is uh, new breaking information in our investigations. Uh, we are sick and tired of the runaround, the nonsense, the frivolous lawsuits, and all of that that is filed against our team. We've had enough. Uh, there will be more intel drops uh, this week. Um, basically, we feel like the people in government are not doing their jobs, so we're going to do their jobs for them, and we're going Absolutely, to bring this information yeah. to you. And we'll let the American people decide from here on out on our investigations. Uh, it's apparent that the Department of Justice, the members of Congress, the members of our United States Senate, they are not going to do their jobs. And so with that being said, any intel that we get from this point forward, we will bring to the American people as soon as we possibly can. We do want to give everyone a chance to come forward. We do want to give everyone a chance to do the right thing. And so, um, you know, that's that's something that I think is very, very pivotal uh, in these investigations. And so for all of you out there, do me a favor because our information cannot get out uh, unless you guys share the information. YouTube, great to see you guys over there as well. Um, and I see lots of, uh, lots of lovely <clears throat> trolls over there on YouTube. And let me tell you what, I'm, I'm completely willing to listen to a valid reason why this may be. Right, right. Why were they there at the hospital at reasonably the same time, at that time in the morning? There might be a valid reason, 
And that's what I do. I listen, I listen to these reasons and, and people's stories. Let us know why. Right. Right. I mean, that, that's the kicker. You know, we're, we're willing to, as Julian Assange said, you know, 30 days after Seth Rich was murdered, you know, <clears throat> Julian Assange basically stated, we're willing to listen to anything within reason Absolutely. in this murder. We want to hear it. Uh, but he also stated 30 days after the murder, there was no findings. You know, there right. was no findings of it being a Bosch robbery. And so we're in the same boat. Uh, you know, we, we have no problem listening to these people, um, but we can 100% prove this. We have... Uh, a way to prove it. I'll put it to you that way. So we have no problem listening to anybody. The right. problem is nobody's talking. Right. Uh, our source is willing to testify in front of the House Intelligence Committee. We have heard nothing back from them as well. Correct, Bill? Correct. So we have sources that are willing to testify and name names. We can tell you who was at the hospital. We can tell you the doctor that operated on Seth Rich. We can tell you the police witness that they've never mentioned. We can tell you all of this information. And we have put most of this information out. You can go to our website, www.af-mg.com, and find all the information right there on our website as well for the information. Uh, with that being said, uh, anyone who's asking for sources, I will tell you the same thing. We were talk we were joking about CNN <laughs> yeah. a little bit earlier, you know, because no. they've doxed us. No. You know, uh, you can also, uh, you know, right now, you can go to uh, ilovemyfreedom.org as well. Uh, the information is up right now. I just saw it come across my Twitter feed, so they're obviously watching this right now as well. Uh, it'll be up on our website as well, af-mg.com, as well as truepundit.com a little bit later. Uh, reached out to Thomas Paine as well, and, and he knows our intelligence as well. Let me, let me add one thing about our source, too. How many people out there think it's a good idea for CNN to dox the jurors in the Manafort trial? Is, is that a good thing? No. Is that something they should do, Matt? No. Okay, no. so... Why would we ever dox our source then? Right, so the all, the conserv all the conservatives are saying, no, 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 it's not fair to release the jurors' names and home addresses. Right. But yet all the trolls are saying, oh, you guys need to release your source and who they are. And you know what? Someday that no. might happen. Just, it, and, today's not that and, day. And I'll say the same thing that I will tell anyone who asks for our sources. When you can get CNN sources and you can get Julian Assange's sources, then I will have no problem handing my sources over to you. Uh, and that's, that's the only uh, thing I'm going to ask to the ridiculousness of someone asking about sources. So, folks, this is it. That's the announcement. If you're just tuning in, uh, we have, can, we have uh, a source that has told us that uh, Donna Brazil and Muriel Bowser, the mayor of Washington, D.C., and Donna Brazil, when she was the head of the DNC, were at the hospital at exactly the same time or just a few minutes after Seth Rich arrived via ambulance. Uh, that's the news we're breaking tonight, and uh, it's something that we wanted to make sure that we, we got out to you because, once again, we have taken this up the proper channels authoritatively, and they're not doing what we've asked them to do. They're not even looking into things, and if they are, they're not communicating with us that they are looking into things. So that being said, that's the big news. Articles are out now as well. So, um, you know, guys, I really, really appreciate all that you do and all of your support for our team and, and things that we are doing. So um, if the scope froze, log out and log back in, guys. It'll probably come back. Log out and log back in. So for Matt Couch, Bill Pierce, and the entire America First Media Group team, we are going to log out. Thanks so much, guys. God bless. That was decent.